Can the stock market's performance in January indicate the performance the rest of the year? Yes, in an article on our webpage, quantifiedstrategies.com, we showed you how the January barometer indicates the performance the remaining 11 months. In this video, we'll show you the trading rules and why the January barometer offers good risk and reward. On the left, you see the performance of S&P 500 when the January barometer indicates you should buy. And on the right, you see the performance when it says you should keep your money in the bank. As you can see, the difference in the equity curves is pretty substantial. Let's define the trading rules. If the close of January is higher than the close of December, we buy S&P 500 and stay invested until the end of the year, which is 11 months. If the close is lower, we stay in cash. If the January barometer flashes a buy signal, we get a steady rising equity curve from 1960 until today. The average gain is 10.5%, not considering dividends, and this is substantially better than any random 11-month period. The reason for the good performance is that losing years only drop 8% on average, while the winning years rise almost 15%. If the January barometer shows a negative signal, the performance the rest of the year is clearly not good. The average gain is only 2.6%, which is way below the average random gains. The reason for the poor performance is that during losing years, S&P 500 drops almost 16% on average, while the winning years rise only 13%. Hence, the risk and reward is poor. That's all for today, and good luck trading!